Hey, what's up guys? When the lockdown for the COVID-19 pandemic started, people rushed to hold on toilet paper, disinfectants, and so many other essential things. And the same happened with vitamin C. It completely disappeared for a few days from stores and even online, you can find it. So today I wanted to talk to you about why you should not wait for something like a pandemic to start taking vitamin C in large daily doses and for the rest of your life. I want to share my own experience taking large daily doses of vitamin C for the past 24 years and I will explain why I firmly believe it has greatly contributed in keeping me this healthy, feeling and looking young and very fit for my age. I want to tell you about many of its benefits beyond what is commonly known. This is my experience with vitamin C and how it helped me stay healthy, young, and strong. My name is Webb, I'm 56 years young, and on my channel, I share my tips and experience on how I keep fit, young, and healthy, hoping to inspire you and others to find your own way to achieve great fitness, great health, and always feel young no matter what age you are. First, I'd like to make a disclaimer. I'm not a medical doctor, so I'm only sharing my opinion based on my personal experience and my research. Please consult a doctor if you want to take vitamin C in large daily doses. And I would like to invite you to subscribe to my channel, like and share this video if you find it useful. And don't forget to hit the bell button for upcoming uploads. And follow me on Instagram at ref 50 wi I regularly upload videos. Now I want to share with you a little history about my childhood. I used to be a very sick kid, very often in bed with colds, flu, bronchitis, asthma, headaches, you name it. I was very, very weak. So growing up, I was very serious about improving my health, about boosting my immune system and striving to become strong. I was very skinny and I was always mocked, picked on and sometimes even beaten by the bullies. I laugh about it now, but back then they nicknamed me the dead alive or the walking dead. <laughs> yeah, so since my early teenage, I was the most dedicated to researching and finding out what could improve my health, give me strength and make me feel more powerful. So I studied nutrition, I researched about supplementation and I started working out like crazy. I also started practicing martial arts, boxing, um, to be able to defend myself against the bullies. Fast forward to 1996 when I turned 32, I received a magazine called The Supplement Review by Bill Phillips, who's a health and training guru. It was the first time I would find out about supplements like creatine monohydrate, HMB, uh, L-carnitine, and many other supplements. What really interested me the most was the recommendation about taking big amounts of vitamin C, up to six grams per day. The reason was that people who exercised a lot needed large doses of vitamin C to fight off the high amount of oxidative stress caused by intense and frequent training. And back then I was training six times a week, lifting weight, um, doing high intensity training and also training in high level combat sports like kickboxing, Muay Thai and submission grappling. I like the fact that amongst other supplements, vitamin C could help lower cortisol after intense workouts, which is really great. I totally made it a religious routine for the past 24 years. I have been taking a daily dose of two to six grams on average and I have to say that I have always felt great in great health and I've never developed any side effects. One of the most frequent questions I get is what's my secret and I often jokingly respond that's the high amount of vitamin C that I take. But the truth is it's the combination of many things. Everything is a piece to complete the puzzle and vitamin C is one of those many pieces like good nutrition, supplementation, and physical activity, and genetics also play a role, of course. So I do believe that vitamin C has had great benefits for my overall health. I'm going to share with you 
some research and studies about vitamin C that I'm sure you will find very interesting. I will leave the links for this information in the description. Many do not know the extensive benefits of vitamin C besides boosting the immune system and fighting colds. When I wanted to make this video, I did some extra research and I came across many websites with great studies and compelling findings. The information I share with you in this um, video focuses mainly on the anti-aging effects of vitamin C. And the next are the five main points. So number one, an article cites clinical studies suggesting that supplementation with vitamin C at 1,500 milligrams daily reduced the increases in the production of cortisol and adrenaline caused by intensive exercise. Number two, on the website verywellhealth.com, in an article with the title, The Effects of Vitamin C on Arthritis, it says, vitamin C plays a major role in the production of pro-collagen, the body's precursor to collagen. Therefore, getting enough vitamin C is critical. Vitamin C might protect against the development of polyarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis for a variety of reasons. It is a powerful antioxidant that fights molecules that trigger inflammation. It also serves a role as a cofactor in collagen synthesis, the main protein in joint tissue and bone. Number three, on the International Journal of Medical Sciences website, I found the following conclusion. After a study involving Taekwondo athletes, it states, we demonstrated that short-term four days vitamin C and vitamin E supplementation effectively reduced exercise-induced tissue damage and inflammatory response during and after successive Taekwondo matches. Number four, on the NutraWebsite.com, which is a news and analysis portal on supplements, health, and nutrition. More vitamin C means less risk for cardiovascular disease. Results from an 11-year-long study on 13,421 participants revealed that those with the highest vitamin C intake had the lower risk of cardiovascular mortality by 70%. Number five, in the book, The Testosterone Chef, it says vitamin C has a protective effect on testosterone molecules, and this is because it's a potent antioxidant able to block some cortisol secretion and oxidative damage. And on the website, psychologytoday.com, in an article titled, Vitamin C Stress Buster, which talks about the vitamin C RDA, the recommended dietary allowance. It says the present daily RDA for vitamin C for adults is 60 milligrams, but it's a far cry from the 1000 milligrams found helpful in the stress study. However, there is a growing belief that the RDA for vitamin C is vastly outdated. The current RDA was said decades ago and is based on the amount of vitamin C needed to ward off scurvy. Current thinking looks at vitamin C from the opposite direction. The amount needed to promote health under varying environmental conditions that appears to be a lot greater than the amount needed to prevent deficiencies. There is also evidence suggesting that prehistoric humans consumed large amounts of vitamin C in a tropical diet rich in fresh fruits. If so, the physiological constitution we have inherited may require far larger daily doses of vitamin C than the current RDA, perhaps as high as 1000 milligrams, and in my experience, that's still a conservative estimate. If you want to learn much more in depth about vitamin C, I recommend a book by Dr. E. Levy called Curing the Incurable, Vitamin C Infectious Diseases and Toxins with over 1,200 scientific references. Dr. Levy argues that the medical profession has routinely ignored research showing that high doses of vitamin C can combat bacteria, toxins, and severe viral infection, including 
avian flu, SARS, hepatitis, and herpes. You can get the book Curing the Incurable on Amazon. The link is provided in the description. And here are two other books about vitamin C. One is How to Make Liposomal Vitamin C and the other is Vitamin C, The Real Story. And now, one of the most asked questions, synthetic or food-derived vitamin C, are they equally bioavailable? The science says that both synthetic and naturally occurring vitamin C are perfectly equal. The difference might be that vitamin C in fruits and vegetables comes with bioflavonoids and polyphenols, which increase its bioavailability and antioxidant properties. But you can get vitamin C supplements with added bioflavonoids and polyphenols as well. Here at home where I live, we have orange, lemon, and pomegranate trees, so we get natural organic fruits all year long. We have so much natural vitamin C to go around, and my diet is very rich with greens and vegetables. I do, however, also buy vitamin C as a supplement. In addition to my natural diet, I get 100% natural vitamin C extracted from acerola berries, and I will start making my own liposomal vitamin C. There you have it guys, that was my experience and some info about vitamin C. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. Let me know your opinion. Have you ever tried taking large daily doses of vitamin C? Please share your thoughts and experience in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and share this video if you found it useful. And don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button for upcoming uploads. And please follow me on Instagram at web50y. I do post regular short workouts there too. Stay safe, stay healthy, eat your fruits and vegetables, and I will see you very soon in the next video. Bye.